Hey, it's me. <clears throat> it is an absolutely beautiful day today. And my flowers are lovely. And there's my little bear and the bunny. The one that Sydney always used to move around. And my oregano and the moose and the angel. But I just wanted to... Um, walk around a little bit and go down the driveway. I walked down to get the mail earlier. You see how tall our trees are? And some of the colors are just beautiful. I know that um, in a previous video I showed you the fireweed that has gone to seed. And the seeds are blowing around to um, to seed somewhere else. And these are the choke cherries. This is what they look like when they are ripe fruit or they dry out over the winter time. And believe me, when the dogs start eating these, you know it because they um, let off a very distinct stench. But look at this double birch tree and it is so white and we have kind of conjectured that it is white because there really isn't much to block the sunlight on it and so it has kind of bleached out the birch bark a little bit. There's our shed. We store in the winter time we put the lawnmower in there and during winter and summer we keep the snowblower in there. I can hear somebody out with their chainsaw probably this looks like an aspen probably because the bark is different than the birch, although I'm certainly not an expert. So this is the birch bark, and that might be an aspen, but they could both be birches, I don't know. I think that the aspen, the, no, I think that's a birch, and I think these are the aspen. I think that the bark tends to be a little more gray. Here's a big spruce tree. Our trees are really skinny and tall. But when I was walking down to get the mail, it's just so pretty. Now the sun isn't out like it was earlier. The sun is just so warm and felt so amazing. So these are the rose hips. These are all of those wild rose bushes that had the beautiful pink flowers. The only problem are these little tiny thorns. They get into your feet and into your fingers and they're awful. So here's just some of the vegetation. I don't know what they are called. Those are the birch trees and our next door neighbor's house and their big spruce. So we have white spruce, black spruce, aspen, birch and um, willow. But our willow is more like a, a shrub, a tall bush, I guess, as opposed to a tree. So it's different here. And the moose love to eat willow. So here is a beautiful plant that has turned this gorgeous red color. Primarily when the leaves change here, other than some of the ground cover, um, the leaves here are gold. So I call it Packerland um, because the trees are green and gold. Of course the evergreens or fir trees or pine trees or whatever they are. I don't know that much about trees. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you and look at this this birch leaf that fell. 
Isn't that beautiful? I just love these colors. This is really what I wanted to show you. Are these beautiful red and orange vibrant colors. I hope they come off as vibrant on the camera as they do in real life. They're just so pretty. They almost glow. They're so beautiful. This would make a real pretty makeup look, wouldn't it? Kind of out there, but definitely very pretty. And then across the street, there's some more of that vegetation. And the sky. So I just wanted to show you, and these are the raspberries. So it's so much fun. They're pretty much done now, but when I come down to get the mail or stop at the, you know, either leaving the house or coming home, come out and uh, pick some raspberries and eat them. A little extra bonus when getting the mail. That's our mailbox, so we have a moose antler on it. So it's kind of distinctive. It's nice for people to, it's a nice marker um, when you're giving somebody directions on how to get here. Say we have the big mailbox with the moose antler on it and then my husband, it looks like one of the eyeballs fell off. Oh no, my husband put that face on that tree. And yes, it looks like one of the eyes fell off. So I'll have to tell him that. And um, if he's interested, he can dig around and see if he can find it. Yeah, I don't know where it went, but he put that up there a long time ago. Well, we've been here almost 10 years. So early on, Yes, it's very quiet and peaceful. What am I gonna miss about Alaska when we leave? Probably Christmas. It is so beautiful here. Over Christmas I've done videos um, showing how beautiful it is here. In December the light is very soft and pastel because the sun barely peeks over the horizon before setting again and everything is covered in snow. And as the Americans and probably the Europeans version of uh, a perfect Christmas scene. And there's our gazebo. Um, Oh, I should show you. I don't know if I've shown you this or if I have. It's been, if I did, it was a long time ago. What else will I miss? Probably the 24 hour light during the summer. I really do like that. I have to admit. And there's my. That was a rhubarb plant. Kind of gone to seed. The previous owners. Um, the wife was an artist and she painted this beautiful scene of Denali on our garage door. Unfortunately, we didn't seal it quickly enough and it has started to peel. My husband has sealed it, but um, it's probably a little too little too late. Here's my other rhubarb plant and I just let it go this year because of the diet. I didn't want to be tempted to be eating yummy sweet stuff. So I didn't do anything with it. And my tomatoes are doing well. And here's the fish pond that we don't fill up anymore. It just smells like fall and the sun is just so nice and warm. So here are my tomatoes. 
they're doing well so I'm actually going to get some tomatoes this year which thrills me to no end and I decided not to bother tying that plant up because we're almost to the end of the season but all right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching, and I hope the weather is really nice where you guys are. And I will just talk to you soon. Bye.